So there's been some debate on the internet about the use of ankle braces. Are they good? Are they bad? So today I thought I'd shed some light on the grey area. So if you were go on YouTube and type in ankle braces or something along those lines, you'd find a couple of videos explaining how ankle braces are bad for you. Now, what I'm saying is that they're not necessarily wrong, but these guys are great speakers, and when someone's speaking so passionately about something, sometimes we tend to miss what's in the fine print of what they're saying. So the answer to the question, are ankle braces good or are they bad? The answer, as with everything, it really depends. So I'm gonna present some scientific evidence to you guys and let you guys decide for yourselves. So how bad can an ankle sprain really be? Well, the answer to that question is that it really varies. There's a 10 year follow-up study of patients who suffer an ankle sprain, and what the study found is that 72% of those people had OA or osteoarthritis in the ankle joint. So it does have some more serious implications down the line. So what does an ankle brace do? It restricts the range of motion at the ankle joint. So there's a study where they took 1,460 high school basketball players and had half wear an ankle brace and half not wear an ankle brace over the course of a full season. Now, about 100 people from each group had already sprained their ankle and about 300 from each group had already worn ankle braces previously. And what they found was those who did not wear a brace were more likely to sprain their ankle. So the exact numbers were 78 people sprained their ankle without the brace compared to 27. So the ankle brace is quite effective at reducing ankle sprains. So ankle braces do work and they are effective at preventing ankle sprains. So why could they possibly be bad for your ankles? Well, it has to do with a couple of things. Number one, proprioception and ankle strength itself. And number two, the knee joint. So because the ankle joint is restricted, you actually aren't able to move that ankle joint and use the structures around it to prevent an ankle sprain. So you've heard of the principle use it or lose it, essentially that's what it is. So the muscles around the ankle joint won't be fired properly and a number of other things. And with the ankle joint being restricted, that force needs to go somewhere throughout the body. Force doesn't just magically stop. So essentially, that force goes further up to the next joint, which is the knee. So after reading a few studies, which I'll link in the description, the studies found that there was no real difference with the peak force at the knee joint, with or without an ankle brace on. However, what they did find is that those wearing an ankle brace had an increase in the internal rotation at the knee and knee abduction. So for those who already have knee problems, wearing an ankle brace may be a problem. So I've got some positives and negatives of ankle braces. So the real question which you guys are probably asking yourselves, when should I and shouldn't I use an ankle brace? So you should use an ankle brace when you've had chronic ankle injuries or chronic ankle instability. So for example, Steph Curry has had surgery after surgery on his ankle and the benefit of an ankle brace far outweighs the risk of not wearing one. In addition to this, Steph Curry is surrounded by some of the world's best trainers, physical therapists, podiatrists, whoever, um, in working on that muscle strength around the ankle and further up the leg. There are a lot of studies to show that working the muscles further up the leg, such as the glutes, quads and hammies, are beneficial in preventing ankle sprains. You should also use an ankle brace in the first six weeks after an ankle injury or tape it, whichever you prefer just because during that time, that is when you are most susceptible to re-sprain your ankle. So when shouldn't you use an ankle brace? So even though the evidence is limited, if you have had knee problems, it may not be the best idea to use an ankle brace. Likewise, if your ankles are completely healthy and you haven't sprained them before, there's really no reason for you to be wearing an ankle brace. You should really be working on those muscles and structures around the ankle to prevent an ankle sprain. So I hope that video was helpful guys and I hope I cleared up some of the questions that you might have had. So just to reiterate, if you've had chronic ankle problems or the benefit of an ankle brace outweighs not wearing one, wear one. If your ankle is completely healthy or you might have knee problems, maybe steer away from it. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, hit me up on my Facebook or Instagram page at Pinpoint Podiatry. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more content about basketball or the NBA in general. 
Let me know your experiences with ankle breakers, guys. I'd be really interested to know. So thanks for watching and try to be an ankle breaker, not have your ankles broken.